everyone, welcome to a Pack Brand Hatch for round two of the UK Time Attack Championship. We're here competing in my Evo 5 RS again. Great first round at Cadwell. Sun's out today, fingers crossed for a good round. So today here at Brands Hatch is a really big event, probably the biggest in the calendar for the UK Time Attack Championship. I've not driven at Brands Hatch for over a year, so I'm looking forward to getting back out on the circuit here. Today there are 73 cars here competing, so really busy event. There's also loads of drift demos and historic Formula One display laps as well. For us, the first two sessions of the day are warm-up and practice. So the first session warm-up went out and done a 54 second lap. Now to put that into context, I am fortunate enough to hold the lap record here for the class, which I set back in 2016. That's a 52.8, so that's kind of the target for today. For the second session, practice, we went out, turned it up onto high boost, 1.7 bar, and did a 52.8 second lap, so matched the existing lap record. So the perfect way to start the day and I'm hopeful that there's still a little bit more in the car yet. So two really successful morning sessions and then it was out for the first session after lunch which is qualifying. Um, literally five minutes before we went to go out there was some drift demos on and then the heavens opened and it started to rain. Had a few moments, um, it was incredibly slippy. The rain sitting on top of what was a dry track made for really, really tricky driving conditions. Um, it's really difficult to put a lap together. Unfortunately for someone, the session ended on a red flag, meaning that we had to come in a little bit early, which was a shame. But fingers crossed the rain holds off and it's dry for the final session. Now that's the one that really counts. So fortunately the track dried up for the final, went back out, managed to find a bit of space um, and finished up on a 52.626 lap. So absolutely over the moon with that, new class lap record, that's what we kind of set out to do today. So over the moon win the result. P1, new lap record, couldn't have asked for a better result. And your winner of Clubman, and I think a new record two, it's Alex Bowe! Thanks very much for watching guys, see you next time. I just wanted to quickly explain how the format of Time Attack works. The event is split into various classes based on kind of car spec and modifications. Now what they do is group a number of different classes together who are out on track at the same time. So you get quite a lot of difference between kind of the car speeds and performance and things like that, but ultimately you're there competing against the other cars that are in your class. It's all about the time sheet. So the aim of the game is to set the fastest possible lap within your respective class.